Hi everyone, Don Gillis here with another fun fact. Hey, listen, in the comments section of the LinkedIn page the other day, somebody commented, hey, do a video on R32, 454B, and 410A. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to look at pressures, temperatures, and uh, what's that POE oil look like and things like that. So I'm going to walk through this kind of slowly. It's going to be very high level, but uh, hang with me here, okay? All right, so we're looking at the top of the screen on this slide here. We're looking at the capacity or BTUs. Uh, if 410A was at 156, uh, 454B would be around 152. So it's going to be, get a lose a little capacity there. R32 is going to be around 171. Uh, but the overall COP or the coefficient performance, if you will, the higher that number is, the more efficient the system is. So 410A would be at 3.58. Uh, 454B would be at 3.68, and then R32 is going to be right around 3.65. So again, the coefficient of performance sounds real fancy and stuff, but really in a very simplistic term, uh, a definition, if you will, is uh, it's how much capacity your evaporator is putting out compared to how much energy your compressor or the system's using, okay? So that's what it looks like. And this is what the number, the most important number, what designers and uh, developers and those kind of things look at when they're designing a system. So suction pressure, everyday stuff, boots on the ground. If you're at 130 on the 410A or low side, you're going to be around 127 on 454B and then 133 on R32. On the high side or discharge pressure, uh, if you're at 429 on 410A, you're going to be right around 395 on the R454B and then 430 on R32. Remember, we're going to run a little higher pressure on R32 uh, because there's a pressure temperature relationship and we know R32 runs just a little bit warmer. OK, so with that said, let's look at our discharge temperatures. On the 410A, if you're seeing 167 degrees Fahrenheit now, six inches out from the compressor, you're going to be right around 177 on the 454B and then 195 on the R32. Remember, R32 is going to run a little warmer because we removed that R125 from that 410A. And R125 did a couple things there, major things anyways. And that was, it made it a fire deterrent or A1 classification. And it also kept that discharge line cool. So when we remove that, R454B and R32 are going to run a little bit warmer. With that also said, the R32 POE compressors, or compressors, pardon me, the POE oil is going to be uh, uh, POE 46, as opposed to 410A and 454B, which will still be at a POE 32. So you're going to need a little higher viscosity, better lubricity for that R32. Nothing wrong with that. It's just a factor the way it is. That's the nature of the beast. So that's your fun factor today. I'm Don Gillis. And as always, be kind to one another. See ya. Take care now.